Raise in the Roof, presented by the Central Indiana Realtist Association, a local chapter of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. Our mission is to build wealth through home ownership by enhancing economic development. We accomplish this goal by informing, advocating, and educating in the communities we serve. And now, Raisin the Roof. Welcome and thank you for joining us as we're raising the roof. These programs are designed to show you how to build generational wealth through home ownership. I'm Dolores Kennedy with BNK Real Estate Service and I'm Priscilla Russell, your agent with Hustle. And we're here today <laughs> are talking about all things of Sarah and NARAB. We're going to talk about things that's coming up because we've got an exciting year that's coming up and we want you to be the audience to be a part of that and know what's going on in the community and what we're going to be doing and who's going to be here and all of those kind of things. We're going to bring that stuff to you and we're going to be right back with all things Sarah, all things NARAB. We'll be right back. On the first Wednesday of every month, realtors and real estate professionals are invited to our CIRA meeting, which is at 1130. For information on attending the meeting, please go to our website at www.cira.nareb.org for meeting information. Thank you. Welcome back to Raising the Roof. Today, we're going to be talking about all things CIRA, Central Indiana Realtors Association, and NARAB, the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. We have an exciting year, and we just wanted to share some of the things that we're going to be doing this year in the community and making sure that you know where you can come and where you can see us doing some of the things that we do for the community, because we want to make sure that we Con concentrate on generational wealth, building generational wealth. So, Ms. Dolores. Yes, ma'am. Tell us about the first things that are on our list for this week. We're going to talk about Realtors Week. Okay. Realtors Week is our big week. That's a week of service, Realtors uh, service through the national, and it's a national, it's a national uh, initiative that we have and we're locally we're going to be doing it here and we're going to be doing a lot of different things here and we each day we have different uh uh uh, events okay. that we will have that's going to be going on. Uh, the, we're going to have a membership recruitment day where we will have people coming in. Uh, if you're interested in the real estate community, if you're interested in having, uh, uh, being a part or real estate industry, okay. if you want to be a part, come out and see what we're all about. Get information on our programs and things of that sort and we will be giving you th that that's going to be on April, uh, Realtors Week is April 10th through the 16th let me tell you that first and so so the, <laughs> on the 10th help. that that <laughs> might help <laughs> on on the 10th that is when we're going to be having our membership recruitment day and uh, we will give you the location we will have that at our uh, on our, on a later show that we will have that and then on our on our day two is going to be political advocacy day. We're going to have legislators come in and talk to us about different, <clears throat> excuse me, that's going to talk to us about disparities in housing, what we need to do, what we can, you know, what, how we get rid of redlining, and why is we, do we still have redlining, all of those things. We're going to have those political, and we had one last year right. that was very well attended, and we had uh, uh, the, uh, legislators that came in and talked to us, and it was a very informative uh, uh event as well as we had fair housing the person right. Amy Nelson who is the director of fair housing she was one of our panelists so we're going to do that again this year that is going to be that location will be announced at a later date so and then on day uh Three. Well, let's let's make sure we talk about that that political okay. advocacy day. Okay. Because we got to make sure we un they understand that we're also going to be inviting our local 
our, our local people that mm -hmm. are in charge of the city offices, and you're also going to have local HUD office there, mm -hmm. housing and urban development. So we're going to have some of our political people mm -hmm. there to talk to the real estate industry about what's going really going on. Just to add a little bit to what what you were saying last year, we we had that information. <laughs> we could hardly find a place to sit. Yeah, right. it was, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. everybody came in to hear what's going on locally as far as getting into the political advocacy and also just giving information about, about what we can do to even to increase our way of generational wealth here right. in the city. And we have, uh, we have a, uh, we'll have a moderator, but you will have a chance to put your questions down if you want to ask the, any of the legislators any questions and present that so that those questions can be answered at the time, uh, in real time. So, and then our next day is going to be um, fair housing. We are going to, there's a fire housing conference and the the registration for that will be open the first part of February, and we will have information on the cost. It's going to be virtual, so you don't have to worry about putting on clothes. You put on you put on a shirt and keep your pajama bottoms on and sit there and and stay with the stay with the program. <laughs> so it'll be an all day conference, and it's usually from about nine until three in okay. the afternoon. And they have breakout count, breakout sessions that they will have. Um, and so you, uh, so b b we want you to be a part of that as well. Well, we, we talk about diversity and inclusion and mm -hmm. ways that, that we can include everyone as we take care of this information on that week. Now, what, one of the things that we usually do is we have the pastors to come in and we have a pastor's breakfast or luncheon together. So we're going to do that also again this year. We're going to do that. We're going to do a brunch. <clears throat> and, the date that, and the date that we're going to, the location, that is uh, that we're going to have that we will have to let you know where what the location is going to be, but it will be a minister's a clergy brunch, and we want to invite the clergy to come out and to be a part of it. Give a talk so that we can tell you about the programs that Sarah puts forth in order so that you we can bring it to your parishioners, anything that that we can do to serve the unserved and underserved. And we want to bring that to the the to the to the parishioners so that that uh, they will know what is going on. And then we will have a uh, <coughs> a community. <coughs> excuse me. We will have, th that's the day that we're going to have the minister's breakfast, Pr Priscilla, that you just talked about. Right. And we are looking forward to, um, to having the ministers come out. But our big day is going to be community day. Not that all of our days aren't going to be big days, but our big day, big, big day is going to be our community wealth building day where we will have a day of different opportunities coming out. We're going to have a lender symposium. We're going to have a realtors panel. We'll have, uh, we're going to have food and, and things for the kids to come out. Uh, we're going to have a, a workshop. Uh, in, uh, uh, pro programs will oh, yeah. be going on as well. I'm sorry, I'm getting all tripped up. And then we will have, you will be able to, if you have a, uh, that you'd like to speak to a lender, you can come out and you can talk to a lender and ask them where you are as far as as being ready to, to purchase right. a home. And that's you know, a Saturday, right? That, that, this is on Saturday, and it's that. going to be an all-day event. And I, we usually have it from like 9 until 3 or 9 until 4, and, and we've got something going on all that day, but it's going to be family-oriented. We will have places for you to have your kids for child care so that you can be able to sit there and be in the classes and be able to pay attention to what's going on there. Well, and one of the other things that will happen that day is that we're going to also be available for information on credit counseling, things that mm -hmm. we can help. We really provide this in our normal every third Wednesday mm -hmm. of the month at the Click Center. Mm -hmm. We give you that information, but we'd like for you to come out and just find out how we can get you together, not only to 
buy a home, but just to have a better life mm -hmm. so that anything you do, you'll get a, a lower interest rate when your credit scores are good and you're doing the right thing. And you might even learn about uh, something we call FHA 203K information workshop. And what that does is it shows you how to purchase a home and even fix that home up, and then you'll have a lower priced home. However, it'll still be in great condition when you finish. And then you will always have, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, we will have things, we're going to have a session for veterans, right. uh, and especially the first time home buyers when you're talking about, when you're talking about us having uh, people coming and, and talking to us, Priscilla, uh, about our workshop, our workshop will be a part of this community day. We want mm -hmm. you to know that do we have this workshop that we have the third Wednesday of every month at the Fabicard Glick Center, which is where our community day is going to be held as well. And that would be on the 15th of April that we will be having that. Okay, so we're going to have food and everything for the kids? We're going to have food and for the adults, too. How <laughs> about that? For the kids and the adults. For the kids. So there's and no excuse? No excuse. So we'll excuse. have even babysitting like we did exactly. last year? Exactly. <laughs> no cost, and the whole week is going to be a, a, a day of, a week of giving. And we, will, we even have a community day where we will go out and we will be working in the community where we will, last year we had a house that, that we had several of our people went to and they cleaned the yard and they cleaned the fence and they did a lot of different things. And those are some of the things that we want to do to make a difference in the community so that they know that Sears been there. We've got our footprint on it, okay? So we're gonna, so we're gonna make sure. a week of service. A week yes. of service. And we want you to be a part of it and to come out and to, um, to help us to help us if you want to be a part of it. Let us know if, if that's something that you want to do. There will be registration on our website for any of these uh, opportunities that we have coming out. And our website is siranareb.org, C-I-R-A-N-A-R-E-B.org. If you have any questions about it, you can also leave your questions there uh, about our week of, of service through at, at NARAB. But we, we're looking forward to this. Okay, so, so now tell me, are we gonna do the small business uh, diversity and inclusion type thing that week also? We're gonna do, we're gonna do the whole gambit okay. because we've got so many people that will be, um, that we will have it to, to be a part of that so that we can be that. Because one of the, uh, at my board, which is the Metropolitan Indianapolis Board of Realtors, there is a diversity and inclusion program that's going on there. And we may have the, uh, some of the, um, chair pe people that will come in and to talk to us about uh, uh, diversity and inclusion because we want, uh, what we're about is bringing information you can use and that's what we're going to do here at our Realtors Week. Well, and then one of the other the things that uh, we talked about uh, was the fact, even talked of talking to voters about get, getting registered, make, you know, because there's some important dates coming up this year. So we want to make sure that with CIRA, we give you information that you can use, that you can not only for purchasing a home, but even voting and voting reg registration. That's a very important thing for us to take care of. So we want to make sure that we mention that as we go forward. So what we're going to do is we're going to to wrap up in, in a few seconds, and then we'll be right back for another portion of Raising the Roof and Zero. Hi, I'm Shelly Specchio, CEO of MyBoar Realtor Association. We support the mission of the Central Indiana Realtist Association to improve the quality of life of the underserved and enhance the economic development of the community. At MyBoar, our leadership in economic and community development efforts directly impact the strength of our communities and promote the importance of home ownership for all. Learn more about how realtors strengthen our communities by visiting MyBoar.com. Hi, my name is Priscilla Russell, your agent with Hustle with United Real Estate. I have over 30 years experience helping buyers and sellers to build wealth through real estate. Call me at 317-872-SELL. Welcome back to Raising the Roof. 
ACIRA, Central Indiana Realtors Association, and National Association of Real Estate Brokers. We are, we are just talking today about all the things that we're going to be doing in 2023 and what's been coming up and some of the things we've already done in 2023 for home ownership and just to build generational wealth. One of the things that we wanted to talk about was that we went to a place over a week or so ago called the, was it the Hope Team? The Hope Team. And it was such a great thing for the community. So we, we thought we'd just sort of share what happened at that meeting and just a little bit of information. And also we can tell you some of the other things that we will be doing this year for Central Indiana Realtors. And one of the things that we really are excited about, of course, is our Realtors, Realtors Week, and as we were talking about that earlier. But then the other thing that we have to do is we have to talk about not only the Realtors Week, but just how we can help. I'm sort of excited because during that week, we're gonna have a fair housing day where we'll be talking, to, as Loris was talking earlier, about the presentation on that. So we're gonna be doing the Realtors, the Realtors Week and we'll be doing some fair housing seminars and going on with that. So why don't we talk about this hope thing we went to last week? It was awesome, Priscilla. It was really awesome. It's the HOPE team, and it's housing opportunity, helping others prosper economically is the, the name of the program is, uh, that we went to. And believe it or not, there, this, I had never heard, I'd, I'd heard of the HOPE team, but didn't know what it was all about. But we had, there was people there from all kinds of community services and, and, and uh, just businesses and things of that sort, bringing information to the community. It was awesome. It was something that I, if you get a chance to do it, I think they have it on the second, second, Tuesday. second Tuesday of every month, and it's held at the True Vine Baptist Church at 4050 Millersville Road. If you get a chance to even just to go in to sit in on the meetings, there's so much information on the community and things that 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 that's going on in the community, things that all things that's offered, uh, programs that's offered for the community, and you just, I mean, grassroots stuff, things that people just don't know about. That's right. So we we would in, really invite you to to go and and check this particular group out because they have some information that can help us as we go through just the community and we're talking about generational wealth. People have to be ready for that and mm -hmm. they also have to sometimes get training or, or get with other organizations that help them to get where they need to be. So those those are some of the things that we, we really learned uh, while we were at that meeting. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to sort of bring it up when we're talking about what's going to be happening because we plan to help them out there this year so that we can help out the community. It's just another way to connect to the community, just like we're doing with the Glick Center and all the things that are do we're doing that. We're going to be having our, our home buyer classes there on the third Wednesday of every month, and we're excited about it. It's growing. Mm -hmm. People are coming. So that's what we want to be able to do. Yeah, and then, uh, and with this program, the Home Buyers Workshop, you are able to get, re, uh, get a FHA HUD certified, not FHA, I, I'm sorry, HUD certified certification for taking six hours, six and a half hours of classes with this uh, uh, for uh, the home ownership class. Right. And it, it's a teaching class and you, like I said, it's three, it, it's three sessions, two, a little over two hours each night. And you, and there's no excuse for not coming because we <laughs> serve, uh, we serve dinner or you have a meal and there's child care services, and it's from 6 to 8 p.m., Faber Card Glick Center, 2990 West 71st Street. No reason, no excuse for you not to come because we have, not only are we giving the, the, the home, the, the uh, child care, and not only are we having a meal, you're being educated. And right. that's what this is all about, educating, building generational wealth. There is a 30% wealth gap, our, our uh, home ownership gap between blacks 
and white non-Hispanic borrowers. We've got to close that gap. And the way we start by doing our part is being educated and giving you the education that you need so that you have the education to, to move forward in purchasing a home. Not only in purchasing a home and even coming to these classes, even if you're already in a home, some of these classes can help because we have it on budgeting, we have it on managing your money, right. we have all of this information that we're giving you because we want you to be ready for home ownership and not only to be ready for home ownership, to be able to sustain home ownership. We've got to close that 30% gap. We've got to close that gap. And so what we do is we do that based on uh, the information that we can give. And there's counseling. There's a housing counseling person that's there from NID, which is the, um, uh, I know, I do, I, I, NARAB Investment Division of, uh, and that's a part yes. of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. So we have a, a housing counselor there, as well as we have very capable presenters that's talking about all of these different uh, subjects, buying a home, budgeting, right. all of these things. We want to bring that information to you. Education is the key. Well, and one of the things that uh, we want to really talk to you, talk about and why we're so excited about things is we're, we also want to tell you about the National Association of Real Estate Brokers and why we are members. And this is starting off our new year. And with the National Association of Real Estate Brokers, they were, they were organized in 1947. Mm -hmm. And they were organized because certain people the black people mm -hmm. <laughs> were not being able to purchase homes as they normally would be able to. Mm -hmm. So th we had to create a group, mm -hmm. another group. We call them the Realtist, and that's there's a, another name for the you know the Realtor, but we're the Realtist. And what we're doing is we want to make sure that we continue to help go forward with home ownership and generational wealth, and that way we can bring that to our con our companies, bring it to our neighborhoods, bring it to our churches, bring it to not-for-profit organizations that aren't familiar with what all that we do. But it's it's a this is a time of year, beginning of the year, you know, to just talk about some of the things that are going on. And one of the other things I want to tell you guys about, you might look around the city because we will have billboards that will be going up, and they should be up any day now, in addition to on the bus tails, on the back of the buses. So you, when you see that about the home buyers workshop, that's us. We want to make sure that we get the word out there, and there's a there, there will be the link on there for you to to uh, to register so that you can come to our classes. Share that information because what we want to do that's what we want to do is share information. Educating is the key uh, to to home ownership. And then go ahead. Oh yeah, don't forget that we we were going to talk about NACA. NACA. No, I guess so. so. So just tell us a little bit about what's going on with that organization. Okay, NACA is the Neighborhood Assistance Corporation of America. And NACA is, we're going to have NACA here in Indianapolis. They do not have a footprint here in Indianapolis, so we're going to be bringing them here so that we can be able to uh, get training for our realtors and realtors here in the city of Indianapolis so that we can help you to be able to purchase a home. And their mission is under, serving the underserved and building generational wealth by having affordable housing mark, mortgages and financial assistance. We're going to have them come in and do a class for us. We're going to be any real estate industry person is welcome to attend this, uh, this class. And we will be having it on February the 9th. And I think the time is going to be somewhere between uh, 11 and 2 or 11 and 1, somewhere around that time, right, right around lunchtime. But we want real estate professionals to come in so that they can get more information on NACA because we, we, we do not have a, they do not have a footprint here. And Central Indiana Realtors Association is bringing them here. We're going to have, that's what we're about, giving right. you information that you can use, bringing information for our clients, 
for fellow realtors and realtors so that we will have the information so that you can, we can be, go out there and let our clients know that we have, there's some programs out there that can help you in, in assistance and no down payment or low down right. payment, low to moderate income borrowers. <laughs> we, that's what we're, we're here to do. Well, and then some of the other, even, even now, what we found is that with, with the NARAB and with NACA and these kinds of places now, we, we're having other banks and mortgage companies, they are now coming in with different programs mm -hmm. that are geared towards those people who are disadvantaged and maybe not as as ready to purchase without down payments and things like that. But there are so many things that are gonna be available to them that we are bringing to you as a result of people working out in the community, NARAB, CIRA, and some of the other organizations to get these kinds of things before us so that we can provide them for our buyers and our sellers and even other realtors that are available here in the area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we want to, we want everybody to, to, to be a part of it because we want them to be able to have the information mm -hmm. so that you can't say, well, uh, somebody asked you about it. You can't say, well, I don't know about that. We're bringing that information to you so that you will be able to take it to your clients or, or others. So if you are at home, you can let people know about it. And we will be right back and we're going to talk more about uh, all things real, all things Sarah, all things NARAP. Hello, my name is Sherry Goodwin. I'm a home lending officer with First Merchants Bank. I'm so excited to be partnering with Central Indiana Realtors Association in regards to increasing home ownership in the Indianapolis and surrounding areas. First Merchants Bank has an awesome no money down program and no private mortgage insurance. Essentially, it can be a 100% financing program. Give me a call. My name is Sherry Boutouin. I'd love to be able to help you. 317-566-6123. Hello, I'm Dolores Kennedy, broker owner of B&K Real Estate Services, where helping you buy or sell your home is what I do. Call me, you see the number, call me. Today our show has been about all things Sierra, all things NARAP, and we're so glad that you joined us to be a part of it. We want you to know that we're here to give you information you can use. Our, our, our organization is the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. Our mission is serving the unserved and underserved. We want to be there for you and giving you information on building generational wealth. We will see you the next time. We appreciate you coming and being with us. Miss Priscilla, we're raising the roof. That's what we're doing. <laughs> see you next time. Raising the roof.